Hi guys, Snake Dodder here. Welcome to a new playthrough. This is The Cave. Uh, this is a game which you've probably heard about, um, produced by Ron Gilbert, who uh, was uh, was the writer of the first two Monkey Island games, Fantastic Monkey Island games, my favourite um, game series of all time. And also, way back in the day, which shows my age, um, a brilliant game called Maniac Mansion. Um, and that was one of my favourites as well at the time. And also by Double Fine Studios, this game, um, who is uh, Tim Schafer's new company. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's not speak too much more. Let's uh, press start and jump straight into the game. Welcome. Don't let my sultry and mysterious voice startle you. For hundreds, nay thousands, nay, nay, nay tens of thousands of years, people have come to me in search of what they desire most. Few find what they are looking for. Even fewer ever leave. Welcome to the cave. That's me, the cave. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm a talking cave. <laughs> Don't laugh. It makes dating hell. Besides, I have a really interesting story to tell you this evening, so pay attention. It's a story of seven people and a glimpse into a dark place in each of their hearts. But be careful before you judge. There is a dark place in your heart as well. Someday you will find yourself descending my depths in search of what you desire. And you might not like what you find either. But enough about you. This is about them. Right, well, as you can see we've got a choice of seven characters. Um, and we have to choose three of them. And those three people that we choose um, they will be our, our companions through the whole game. Um, each character has their own little story, which we'll sort of find out more about as the game goes on. So I think um, we're gonna we're gonna choose. So look through now and see what we can choose. We'll start ah, off. Start the off time here. traveler. She is here to right a wrong a million years in the making. Fortunately for her, yesterday is a new day. Interesting. Okay, let's have a listen to this guy uh, to the left. To the left here. The hillbilly. On this fine night, he searches for his true love. But does desire burn too brightly in his heart? Oh. This knight-looking guy next door. Hmm. The knight. He is on a quest for a sword of unequaled power and prestige. But will he find it before anyone else gets hurt? Who knows? Right, let's jump along to... The scientist. She is on the cusp of a great discovery for all of humankind, and a hundred million lives hang in the balance. Okay. Oh, the adventurer. She is hot on the trail of her lost companions and unequaled ancient treasure, but not necessarily in that order. Okay, right, and these two creepy looking twins, they've got to be uh, someone I take. The twins, they just want to go outside and play. What could be more innocent than that? This guy on the end, what's he got to say about himself? Ah, the monk. He seeks his master so he can become the master. It's a journey filled with peace and enlightenment. And murder. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. Right, uh, well, definitely the twins. So I'm going to take those two, just literally click on them. I had a little go earlier. Um, which is why I had to start a new game when I started this recording. Um, I want to want to start with the, the twins. I wanted to have a quick idea of what I was doing before I recorded the game. Just gone through the first few minutes, really. So um, right, we'll take the twins now. When I first played it earlier, go to the right here, and there is a crowbar. Press B. I'm using a, 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 a Xbox controller from PC. Press B, and you can pick up this crowbar. And run back across the cast and. If I open this sign, I press in, uh, press in X, and there we go, alright, they're through, so we're going to run them through, and as you can see now in the bottom left hand corner, the, uh, the left hand button, when you press left on the D-pad, that chooses the uh, the twins, so I've got those, I'm now going to push right, and I'm going to choose someone else, now I think we'll choose Hillbilly, I like the look of him, he's kind of redneck way, so we choose him, he then becomes the up button on the D-pad, and the last one, I think we'll give the the adventurer a go. Quite like the look of her. So we'll pass through the gate. And there's our our uh, our cast, our three adventurers. The twins count as one. So left for the twins, up for the hillbilly, right for right for the adventurer, and up for the hillbilly. There we go. So 
Let's use the twins and we'll, we'll proceed on. Jump across gaps and press A to jump. You can't jump too far so you die. But in this game, actually, you'll see soon, you don't actually die. Um, no one likes to die. As you can see there, just explain that. So, you just get sent back to a sort of previous spot. So you can't fall too far, you can't you can't end your game, which is good. It makes you, uh, makes you, it gives you the ability to try, give a bit of trial and error. So, danger. Keep out. Seriously. Right, let's just go down here. Jump across there. Down there, down there, and then along here. Right, we can't go that way. As you can see, it's too far to jump. So we're going to go back to the right here. And we can grab this box. No, we don't want to put that up. Let's uh, grab the crowbar again. And there we go. Hold down the X button and then drag. Like many, many, many games before, that gives you the ability to pull this box along to give you the extra height you need to jump up. So what we'll do before we go too much further is just turn on uh, turn on subtitles. There must be some subtitles in here. Uh, display. Not there. Uh, not there either. Hold it over on it, obviously. Subtitles, there we go. Right, there we go. Okay, right, so let's jump up there. And, uh... What do, 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 do. You break it, you buy it, just saying. I don't think that bridge has been safety tested with more than two people. Okay, well, let's... Let's go and get our other two people. You just press up on the D-pad and that gives us the hillbilly. So let's get him towards the bridge. Now we've got the uh, crate in place, we'll be able to just jump up fairly easily and get on top. Oh. Careful, if that bridge breaks there might be no way well, back up. I know for a fact. And by if, I mean when that bridge breaks. Yes. <laughs> Who am I kidding? You know it's going to break, and in fact it has to break, because otherwise you can't carry on with the game. So, let's get up there. Way down into the, uh, the cave. We'll carry on with the uh, adventurer lady. We'll move along into the cave itself. So we've got like a, like a little souvenir shop. Let's go have a chat to him. Press the B button, it interacts with him. He's clearly not very happy. What's up, mate? Come on, what's up? Oh, 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 I hope you're not here to visit the cave, because we, we, we're closed. Oh, no. A gruesome and horrific accident has occurred, and there's no way we can open. No way. I shudder to even describe to you what has transpired. For the nightmares will forever haunt your every thought. Well, Just tell us, you come insist. On. When I came in, we had no trinkets to sell it's a disaster. in the gift shop. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh, the humanity! I, I'll never be the same. Some things you can't unsee. What am I gonna do now? We could uh, go and get some for you, maybe. <laughs> I can't lose my job. I need the health insurance. <laughs> the cave is doomed without gifts. How am I gonna make my fiscal quarter projections now, huh? This is the end of the cave. The end, I tell you. <laughs> There's nothing to experience here except bitter disappointment. Come on. Why would anyone visit a dark, damp hole in the <laughs> ground without getting to buy an eye caved and bought this shirt t shirt? Indeed. Hey, if you're gonna stick around, could you at least, you know, pretend to be an indecisive customer paralyzed by choice? Okay. We'll have a postcard, shall we? Right. <laughs> Oh, there right, you do we need to get everyone else here? Let's, I, I, I'll never be let's see if we can get everyone Some else here. You can't unsee. What am I going to do now? Let's bring him along. You know, ah. there is a way I could reopen. Them. Allowing you fine adventurers to partake in the unique experience that only the cave has to offer. Yes. I just need three small trinkets to sell. See. Just three. Let me say that number again. Three. Right. Take this giant novelty size key. It's cute, isn't it? <laughs> Open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. Okay. Well, like I said, I played this first section earlier, so I know exactly what to do. So we'll, we'll run through this bit quite quickly as a kind of 
a little mini tutorial. So we'll go to this, uh, this door here, to this oversized padlock with our oversized key. Let's shove that in. Graphically, it's awesome. It's beautiful. Well, it's sort of two-dimensional. Hmm. He is a funny little man, isn't he? Yes. I should probably fire him. I think he's dipping into the till. Terrible. Um, yeah, it's a really nice graphic style, but it's uh, two-dimensional with a three-dimensional kind of twist. Right, let's drop down here. As you can see now, that our, we've been joined by our other two characters. So when you get to an important part or part that maybe we need to get all of them for, then they, uh, they come and help you. So let's jump across here, the A button, and there's a lever here. So we'll press uh, press B, uh, press X rather. That opens up that lever. He then stays there because we need some more help. So we're gonna drop down here and we're gonna go a bit further down and see another another lever there. So we've got the close for a minute. And we'll go and get the, the twins. We've still got their clutching their crowbar. Not sure if we need that for now, but we'll carry on a bit further. Can't go any further, hang on. It's the wrong way. Jump up there. Let's carry on. Ah, that's it, now the now the door's opened. We can jump across. And we can pull the lever, which now lets everyone else through. So we're going to carry on with the, with the twins for now. Just go that little bit further. Oh, here's a pit here. A big monster. Oh dear. There's no <laughs> dying in the okay, cave. Okay, right. At least not this soon. So, can't so much there. left for them to learn. So let's uh, let's ring this bell. <laughs> Wakes him up. See, there's nothing of interest for him, and he goes back to sleep. So what we'll do, we'll leave the twins there, and we'll get the hillbilly. Now, what we need to do, as I found out earlier, is let's not do that. We need to get this uh, this beastie lured into the trap. So that trap there has a spike on it. We need to get him on, to get him interested in that spike. So what I'll do is I'll show you how how we do that. Go back across here. Go down here and you'll see here there's a hot dog machine um, and what we can't do yet is we can't use the hot dog machine because there's no fuse in that empty fuse box so we're going to go and get that fuse and the way we do that is by going up here I'll show you that I think it's this way might be wrong I am wrong sorry Let's go down again just by going over here up here and if you see up here look these here are little backstories for each character so I'm just gonna interact with that put an X this is the twins the cute kids and a happy family so that's the first little story so you say you have to unlock each one of these um, as you go this kind of story develops as you as you progress in the game what we've got here is a an old well. So we're gonna yank off the uh Oh we can't look. Let's Ah uh, it doesn't work, does it? Okay. Right. So what we need to do, there's the fuse there. So what we'll do, I'll show you exactly what we need to do with this bit here. It's a little fiddly, but it kind of gets you into the thinking of the game. Okay. Let's go and get the adventure as she's See, there's a bucket there. Now, that bucket needs to be. Uh, uh, I used to do, forgotten me already. I almost just <laughs> impaled myself on the spike. Like I said, Stupid. there's no dying in the cave. Um, forgotten. Forgotten already. Rubbish. Fuse. Alright, let's get this up here. Let's go across here. I just need the crowbar and I should just get the crowbar off the twins. And then we'll pick up the adventure. See if she can grab the crowbar. I'm not sure if it's the crowbar we need, but I'm just going to see. All we've got to do is get that um, handle off of that, that well. I think this works. There we go. Right, so use the crowbar, gets the rusty crank. We'll then pick up the rusty crank and drop down. And we will go back to the, the well, the other well. 
There we are. Right, and we'll place that on there. Now if we give it a crank, up comes the shower of splinters, the bucket. Before we do that though, we're going to go over and get this other story. Who's this one? This is the adventurer, the glory of discovery. Fantastic, it like she's... Uh, Gonna try and get this diamond, this guy, and these two two gentlemen with her. Um, as you say, as you as you play this, if you choose different characters, obviously you get different uh, storylines. So she picks up the bucket. Oh, wrong way. Can I fill that up? Oh. Right. So we're gonna go back across here, and then back up to where we just got the handle. Go up here and over here. Now as you can hear that noise. That is the. Uh, now I won't pick it up, if you touch that fuse box because of the dripping water you get electrocuted. So I'm not going to bother with that, but if you interact and put the bucket on top there, the water then drips into the bucket which lets you grab the, the fuse. That fuse then lets us to go down, back down to the uh, to the two machines. The hot dog machine and the grog machine. And lets you use them, so I'll plonk the fuse there. Now grog, any of you recognise the uh, Knows the little reference to Monkey Island there. Uh, I'm in. And, uh, now I'll grab this uh, press the hot dog machine. Grab the hot dog. Right, now I'm going to go back and grab that. I'm going to jump back across here. What we do is we're going to grab the uh, the hillbilly as well. He can go and grab the fuse back because we need that. Second, I'll explain why. So let's go and grab that. Get your big flat feet, mate. Come on. Right, so we'll go back to the adventurer for now. So if I find the twins in here, we can sling that onto there. Now, what will happen now is that the little uh, dragony monstery thing, when he's woken up, will see that wiener, that hot dog, and uh, he will. So we'll get the, we'll grab the event, the uh, hillbilly for this. Put the fuse back in. We'll see what happens once we activate this uh, machine again. There we go, that's it. Right. So here we go. Drop the fuse back in here. That lights up this machine. Now go back to the twins who can ring the bell. Right, so this guy, while he's chewing on that, we'll get the hillbilly to grab. Pull the lever down, and there you go. It's one monster captured. Take the fuse out so that no one can uh, do anything about that. I think we'll pick up the crowbar again because that probably is more useful than the fuse. So he's now dangling, so you can see his shadow there. And we can now get across this pit. So onwards we will go. Another storyline here. Who's this? Young hillbilly, the growing up hillbilly. Him and his teddy bear fishing on a rather rancid looking uh, ran rancid looking stream or brook. Um, yeah, so let's see what the next part of his story says when we find that. We'll carry on going for now. Here come the other two. As you can see, they've, they've joined us, which means we've kind of got to a sensible stopping point. So we'll drop down. Is there anything over this way? No, nope, nothing we can do over here. Okay, what we'll do is we'll climb up. Over here. Right, so we've got a blockage there. And the way we can uh, solve that is by getting some dynamite from here. Grab the dynamite up here. Obviously, we need to light that dynamite before we can use it. So we're going to go back up here to this torch. Everything you can see in the game, as you as you move over it, 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 it highlights with a name. If it doesn't highlight that sign, for example, nothing comes up. Obviously, it's no use to you. So you light the light that and drop that down there and move out the way. Treat to a safe distance. There we go. That blockage has been removed. And we're now. Oh, look, there we go. Look, they've joined us again. So again, we've made good progress. And this here is the Thespian Ship Award, the first of three um, of our trinkets. So we've got the hillbilly with one. We'll let the twins find the next one. Jump up there. Next one's up here. Ah, right. Door control clock. So as you can see, we need to get someone else. So I'll grab the adventurer. 
get her to come along. Access the second part of this mechanism. Is anything here? No, okay. So we'll press that one, and then we'll get the hillbilly to come along and uh, go on through. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to drop that one there. I think the other two are down here. If I'm not mistaken. Well, at least one of them is. We'll just swim, swim down here. There's some, there's some machines and cogs and stuff underground here. Got a rock, cursed guitar. Let's swim back around. Animations are amazing. Really made a bit of effort with this game. It's brilliant. Right, so we we'll get back up. Over there. So we'll get him through. And then we'll go back and get the twins. We can now pass through. And now we'll go back and get the adventure up. Who can pick up the Thespians reward? I'm hoping the third one with the twins is around here somewhere. Maybe it's up here. Let's have a look up here. Ah, there we are. Look. Third bit of loot. This is the jeweled skull. So we'll let the, uh, the brother grab that. Drop down here. And elevator call button. Doesn't let make you backtrack all the way. Here comes the elevator. Probably get away with uh, everyone else just following us in a minute. So we'll, we'll do that. Go back up, I'm sure the others will join us. It takes us to this little shortcut. Now the elevator's been, once we've got far enough, we can now see that there's a button appeared on the screen. So this was this shortcut. So let's go up there, back up here, back up here to the shop. Okay, come on, that's it. Up, oh, one step broke. He's pulling her along with his by his foot. Okay. Over here, and out we get. Right, good. Well, that's the kind of intro section complete, I think. Well, that's okay, one trinket. Join us. A far cry from three trinkets. Ah, yeah. Trinket numero two. Ah, the we third are. glorious trinket. I have to say, you have surprised me. I figured you'd give up after one. Oh, come then. Oh. Right. Sorry. Brilliant. There we go. This is the cave tour. So I think we make a little uh, little way into the game, just sort of through the tutorial. Quite simple. I'm sure the puzzles and the uh, the, uh, the problems we're going to have are going to get far worse. I haven't played any more than that. This is where I got to earlier. So I'm going to leave it here. And um, hopefully you've enjoyed this. Please remember to like, share, and favourite the video, and uh, subscribe if you want to see some more. For now, guys, I've been Snake Doctor, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.